Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Is this episode six? Yeah, season three of Building a Better South. Our contract got renewed for another year. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <Yay. laughs> we'll see if there's a season four. I don't know. That's so. right. <laughs> All right, guys, we're coming back to the Glenview Tutor. We were here last week and through the magic of television. No, really, it's just a week. We had the cabinets installed, trim delivered, and a lot going on here. And yes. You want to tell us? Yeah, now the pretty start stuff starts and I'm excited. Is that because you're talking? Because <laughs> all the cabinets oh, got installed. Okay. All right, so gotcha. all the design elements are being implemented. <laughs> all right, fantastic. So yeah, kitchen got installed and... Cool um, color here. Yeah, so we've got this really gorgeous, it's um, a really pretty chalky blue island. It's actually was painted debonair because I know you guys are going to ask what color that is. Debonair. Debonair. <laughs> um, and then we've got this really pretty simple clean but traditional white hood again our cabinets these are painted pure white that's kind of our go-to white cabinets that we use a lot and again these clients are very traditional which i love so they didn't want a bunch of fussy details in there so not everybody has to go clean line modern yeah, and i think these do have like a clean line element to them but i think they're traditional with a modern update so they them. are the square inset so the door and the frame are flush got that cool little, little profile yeah there. that's my favorite little profile <laughs> detail yeah and we haven't installed the hardware yet but they just literally pulled off with the uh, the trailer uh these guys are made up in indiana gnr woodworking yes gnr is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, soft clothes. So yeah, great cabinets. Yeah. And I love this detail here. So it kind of looks like it's two doors, but it's actually just one big door. Again, we're going to have some really pretty uh, chrome handles and pulls in this kitchen because we're doing all the silver tones in here well and a good way for you guys to get a very custom look I, it's funny over the last week in instagram i've had several people reach out to me and go do i do a 36 inch tall cabinet 42 48 and i said you know you don't always have to have a lighted or a glass cabinet above mm -hmm. i said why don't you do one tall cabinet and then like gretchen said you can break that door style up or we did some glass cabinets in here that are nice and tall that we'll show in a little bit right and we are going to have a trim crown detail at the top of these cabinets so they won't just end so again it's about those finishing touches but yeah then that way down the road if you wanted to put some wallpaper in here it would be Ooh, so pretty yeah. i'm all about the wallpaper lately <laughs> maybe um, a chintz pattern or something yeah a chintz there you go <laughs> That'd be great. Um, and one of my other favorite features in our kitchen these days that I can't get enough of is the sink under the window. And the sink doesn't have to be under the window, but love bringing in that natural light to the yeah, space. Yeah, and they've got a beautiful wooded light, so it's really a great space. We did an oversized farmhouse sink, and it's a DXV sink, so love that. It's just one big sink. We didn't do any dividers. I know that's, you know, some people like the divided sink, the homeowners, they just wanted one big sink. So we'll have a really pretty faucet here, have our backsplash. So this is a very functional space. We'll have dishwasher right next to your sink. So yeah. close and convenient. Just lots of storage, plenty yeah. for, yeah. Pull out that drawer and We've got give you. Lots of dividers for extra silverware dividers. Nice, nice big deep drawers and one thing you guys can't see from this angle right now but when we design our plans and c3 helped us with the architecture on this one but the house isn't really deep it's much wider mm -hmm. so we've got windows on both sides of the house so yeah. no lights on right now we're still getting all that natural light coming through and you can see over here but what do we have over here a little pantry well yeah even before the pantry though we've got this really pretty glassed area so this will be great for all the, you know, all your pretty china, your dishes, glassware that you want to showcase in your kitchen. So this is over to the side. But again, I just love that traditional mullion detail. I mean, that's just timeless. On, all it is. Over you, right ju there. you just can't beat it. So, and again, we have the pure white cabinets over here. But yeah, we'll show you guys. They've got this really great built in um storage so if you guys are area. thinking looking not to cut you off there <laughs> but so behind this wall we have a kids workstation and behind the workstation you've got a laundry room on this side and then the pantry on this side yeah. and then the main kind of the hub of the house right behind here so yeah so a lot of like within this whole triangle of area it's really where you're going to live you yeah. know a laundry room a kitchen a workspace area we well, want to go laundry or pantry first let's go pantry okay 
Yeah. So. I would have said laundry, but you know. <laughs> we'll save the best for last, right? <laughs> so this is a great, huge built-in pantry area. So we took the kitchen cabinets in here again, pure white. I absolutely love this window. It's probably one of my favorite mm -hmm. windows in the house. So we'll have, you know, cabinets, the lower cabinets will be great for additional storage of all those things you want hidden, but then we are gonna do some shelves above it for just like all of your cereal boxes, your canned goods, all that stuff that you just need to grab it and see it visibly. It doesn't necessarily need to be hidden. Um, and then they will have actually an additional refrigerator in here, which we've been doing that a lot yeah. lately. If you ha if they have a nice That's big walk-in. That's a really cool feature. It is very cool. Yeah. Um, if they have a walk-in pantry, then we've been adding an additional refrigerator. And that kind of keeps those big, huge, oversized refrigerators out of the kitchen that I think sometimes can just seem yeah. overwhelmingly big. Well, and you can get big. two regular fridges yeah, for less than one. Right, and it keeps the cost down. So you, you have two functional fridges, so you get still lots of storage and you're not spending as much to have the two column Well, a lot fridges. of things people are wanting, you know, what's the latest in kitchen design or even home design. And I think this is probably one of the biggest, I don't want to say trends, but it's just really a lifestyle is having a larger working pantry to where mm -hmm. you can leave your stuff plugged in, toaster, microwave, blender, yeah. mixer, and it's kind of off the counter, keep that very clean, right. and a lot of the work gets done here. Yeah, so you can leave your crock pots out here, and yeah, like Jason said, we're gonna tuck the microwave in here. So this this is the pantry, so let's, let's show you guys um, the workspace in between here, and then take you to the laundry room. Yeah. So as Jason spoke so, about, yeah, this is Yeah, the, you're one, <laughs> two, three, four. So probably like 12 feet long right here. Yeah, and this is a workspace. Sp the, um, the folks, they have three kids. So we've got each of them have their own little plug area that they can work and kind of do um, homework um, that's off the kitchen. So if you're in the kitchen making dinner, the kids can kind of just be secluded here, not distract it get work done. See what they're working on? Yes. Um, <laughs> but they'll each kind of have their own little desk area space within this. And then right here, off the kitchen is a functional working laundry room. And I, I love this space because again, we've got tons of natural light in here. You've got the three windows and then we've got these beautiful cabinets which were painted Stardew, which by the way is a shade lighter than Debonair. So just a really pretty soft chalky blue. We've got a um, great, just a white porcelain floor going in here. So just lots of shades of blues and whites in this home. And we'll have again, those chrome fixtures and handles and, and pulls And all in that here. natural light. And tons and tons of natural light. So it's a very happy space to do laundry room. And I know we were ironing out some details a few weeks ago, but you want to show them oh, yeah. uh, what we've got around the corner here. <laughs> Yes, as Jason said, ironing out details. So we, we have this really cool, here we go, there, yeah. And then we've Pull also down, hidden the wire down. into the wall so you can plug right. directly into there. So this is, yeah, so it's painted out to match the cabinet so it fits seamlessly. You've got room for your iron goes up here. That's why they've got this little metal piece so that if it's still warm, it can sit there and not catch fire on the wood and it just plugs up, bodes away when you're done and you never even knew it was here. So that's a really awesome feature and great for any, any laundry room. All right, can I talk? Sure. Oh, I'm teasing. <laughs> I love seeing all the kitchen, the cabinetry. I mean, it yeah. really helps, you know, ground the house and make it start to feel like a home. But it does. I wanna show you guys some details that we're got, we have going on the outside here. Yeah. So uh, when we showed you the front elevation last week, we talked about the brick archway. You know, from this perspective right now, the guys have all their scaffolding set up right now, but we'll take you outside. But this archway really, I mean, finishes off the exterior of the house. So we'll pop outside and you can see that. But the, t the columns taper, and then we have this archway. The guys are finishing up the brickwork on another little tapered detail. So let's go outside. I wanna show you how we've kind of formed that up as we wrap up this episode. wait to get the scaffolding down but until then you'll have to use a little imagination and then 
gosh, I mean, what a statement this plan this thing makes. I know, I love it. I love the, the porch detail. It's just so charming again. And I think it lends well to the feel of this home and the Tudor style that we're going yeah. for. Do you want to be my Vanna sure. and show the the size of these columns? So Gretchen's 5'8 or so, but gives you a sense of scale. And then they taper. So it goes a little bit narrower and then wider at the bottom. So just helps add that extra layer of detail. We added a little water table kind of at the top there. So when this is painted all white, you'll really start to see some of those shadow lines going in. And then to get this archway to work, we had our finished carpenters actually construct this wood archway. So we bricked up to a certain spot, carpenters installed the wood arch, and then our masons come back, lay the wood arch. It's got to set up for a few days with that mortar because it's a self-supporting arch. And then once it's all dried, we'll pull off the forms and the scaffolding will come down. And then we'll it's have- It's like a big reveal. It is definitely a big <laughs> reveal. So I want to show you over here where you can maybe get a little better sense of that tapered detail we've added. We're going to walk past the friend's entry, which I know Gretchen talked about this the other day, but white brick and then you're going to paint the door? Yeah, so we're going to paint the door a blue. It'll be very similar. I think we're going to try the debonair and make sure it looks good outside, which is what the island color is. Um, paint the door the debonair blue and then paint the side lights. I think we're going to go with white. We're going to start there and, and then uh, see if we like it. The yeah. side lights white. So I almost forgot a detail too, as Tim pointed out a, a minute ago when we were walking over here. We stepped out the bricks above Gretchen. So it's kind of like a corbel, but we've done it out of the brick. So again, a little layer of detail. And if you follow that up the roof line, we've recessed three little boxes in there. And again, just a very subtle detail. We didn't do a traditional vent. We wanted to do something just a little bit different. So again, once that's painted, you'll get that shadow line and adds that extra layer of detail. Yep, for the Glenview Tudor. For the Glenview Tudor. So, all right, I'm gonna pop over here and so last week we didn't have any brick on this this piece right here but if you look at it kind of head on so this goes straight down like this and again you can see that just widens out just a little bit at the bottom to give that uh you know again another little layer of detail just that architecturally interesting detail that you guys always want to implement in your home yeah so when we designed this house this subdivision is almost all built out probably a hundred homes and we wanted something that was different than everything else so mm -hmm. well you always do <laughs> all your houses are always yeah, different i think thanks to <laughs> thanks to our team and everybody yes. puts their efforts together and you know, you get a little uh, little sneak of what it's going to look like. So uh, yeah. you guys will have to come back again in the yeah. future and see yeah. more progress. Yeah, so we'll be showing more as more things are done, as tile gets installed and the hardwood. Um, so follow this house along. You can follow us on um, Instagram. I'm Gretchen Black, and the hashtag actually for this house is Glenview Tutor. So if you want to follow along that, um, Jason and I post about it. Zach. He posts about it a lot, so um, he gives some cool behind the scenes details too. Yeah, so follow that hashtag, Glenview Tutor. You can see all the different pictures, progress pictures. We're in there doing trim work now, so all the, all the good stuff's coming. So Jason Black with Artisan Signature Homes together. We're, we're, we're building, building a better, better south. south. See you guys next time. <laughs>